Hey, it's Michelle here with your encouraging word for Wednesday. Today, I'm just going to read a couple verses about our identity in Christ. Uh, verses that really talk about who we are in Christ as believers. The first one I want to talk about is Romans 8.1. It says, you are free from condemnation. As believers in Jesus Christ, we are free from condemnation. Like God is not condemning us for our sins or anything that we are doing these days, this side of the cross, because all of that condemnation, all of our sins were put on Jesus Christ and he set us free from condemnation. So the enemy, he loves to make us feel condemned. Like when we mess up, when we make a mistake, when we say something we shouldn't say, we feel condemned. And that's really because that is the enemy using the the situation or the circumstance that we just found ourselves in to make us feel bad, to make us feel guilty and ashamed. And when we get in that place, we like to pull back and hide from the Lord because we feel condemned. We feel like we shouldn't be able to be in his presence, like God is angry at us for what just happened. In reality, we are the righteousness of Jesus Christ. It's another thing that uh, we need to know about our identity in Christ. We are not condemned we are righteous. So if you live under the truth that you are righteous, you're going to be able to overcome those setbacks in your life and really just get back into that intimate personal relationship with the Lord instead of running and hiding from him and trying to hide what you've done and feel ashamed about it. We're not supposed to do that as believers. And then another thing I want to talk about is... 1 Corinthians 6, 19, it says, you are the temple of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit lives on the inside of us and he guides us and he directs us and he gives us wisdom and understanding of God's word when we read it. He brings things to remembrance. I mean, the Holy Spirit does a lot for us as believers. But if we don't believe that we are the temple of the Holy Spirit and we try to live lives, especially these Christian lives in our own strength, we're going to wear ourselves out because we literally cannot do it on our own. That is why we have the Holy Spirit. I mean, that's why we have God's word. Both of those together, the word and the Holy Spirit is what allows us to live victoriously for the Lord. Amen. I hope that that word encourages you to find your identity in Christ and not in this world. Amen. Heavenly Father, we just thank you so much, Lord, for your word. We just thank you that you care greatly for each and every one of us. And Lord, you want us to know who we are in Christ. So Lord, I just pray that you would help each one of us to really get a hold of who we are in Christ, because we will be powerful, Lord, for your kingdom. In Jesus' name, amen.